Hi, I'm Tyra from Connecticut Stone. In today's trade talk, we have the pleasure of watching skilled masons prep and install a Connecticut Stone thin stone fireplace. Our client selected Connecticut split field stone, which is a material that is indigenous to Connecticut. At our factory, we split natural field stone slabs to expose the inside or split side of the stone. Our client opted to mix together both ledge cut and strip cut patterns, adding just a little bit of mosaic. In addition, the mason will add a small percentage of Connecticut weathered field stone. This is field stone that has weathered naturally for additional visual interest to yield a truly custom look. This project is an interior great room fireplace and I'll discuss why that's important. In an interior application, thin stone can be applied directly over plywood without weather guard. Additional options for a suitable substrate are cement board and concrete block. We recommend being properly outfitted before working with natural stone. You will notice that the mason is wearing a dust mask when cutting or trimming the stone. We also recommend wearing gloves for handling and safety glasses for eye protection. The mason begins by installing cement board on the wall. He then uses galvanized 2.4 gauge wire lath and secures it to the cement board with galvanized screws. Typically, masons will apply a scratch coat over the wire lath. The intent is to cover the entire area of the lath, working the cement into the holes and scraping off any excess. A notch trowel is used to lightly rake horizontal grooves in the scratch coat while the cement is still slightly wet. The scratch coat should be allowed to dry for 24 hours before applying thin stone. This method ensures the best possible bond for the installation. In an exterior installation where the area is exposed to both weather and nature, this is a critically important step. Because this fireplace is an interior application not exposed to the elements, the mason foregoes a scratch coat and applies the mortar both to the substrate and to the back of the stone as he goes. We recommend using Specmix BM04 Polymer Modified Veneer Mortar for the application of thin stone. As a general rule of thumb, 80 pound bags are typically mixed with about five and a half quarts of water. Note that the water addition rate can vary slightly based on climate, installation method, or stone type. We recommend Specmix BM04 Polymer Modified Veneer Mortar because the product is designed to provide excellent workability, cohesion, high bond strength, sag resistance, water resistance, efflorescence minimization, and durability, which are key components to ensuring a successful installation. The mason uses a string line to figure out the required depth for his corners. Thin stone corners are L-shaped pieces cut from a single block of stone that are designed to create the illusion that the wall is made from solid natural stone veneer, which is typically four to six inches thick. As the mason selects a piece of thin stone to install, he uses a brick hammer to work the faces and edges of the stone. This technique is recommended for a natural appearance. In cases where a more modern aesthetic is preferred, the mason will use a diamond blade to make straight cuts. Here the mason measures and marks where to trim the stone to fit into his pattern. You will notice that he often measures twice and cuts or trims the stone just once. This is a best practice because once the stone is applied, you cannot break the bond. For this application, our client desires a rough dry stack look, so you will see that the mason is setting the thin stone tight without a joint. The mason mortars the back of the stone, ensuring that there is 100% full coverage on the back of the piece. He then presses the stone into the wall. You will also notice that the mason is adjusting the amount of mortar he applies to give the stone varying depths, which helps to create more visual interest. Here the mason is installing a corbel, which is a thicker piece of stone that is jutting out from the wall to carry a super incumbent weight, in this case a mantle. The mason uses a sponge and water to clean off any excess mortar on the face of the stone. There is a good amount of artistry and craftsmanship in natural stone installation, whether it be full veneer or thin stone. Two masons can be provided with the exact same stone and install two different fireplaces with very different looks. One is not better or worse than the other necessarily, but it's important to understand that the mason's craftsmanship and artistic vision have a lot to do with the final product. At Connecticut Stone, we manufacture over 80 different colors and patterns of thin stone. Please feel free to come and visit us to see our extensive inventory. We're happy to prepare custom blends and custom sizes upon request.